Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am going to be doing a full entire review of the vitamin C range at the body shop. This video was actually requested by somebody. I've literally got the video that it was requested on up here so I don't forget who said it. But it was requested by someone called Toby so I'll leave their comment on the screen but basically they said can you do a review on the vitamin C range and as soon as I saw that I was like hell yes. I've literally tried every single product from the vitamin C range apart from one so I have my opinions to share and I'm also going to talk about like what my opinions are on the product that I haven't tried and will I try it kind of thing or why I haven't tried it that kind of thing I want to do this video for the other ranges at the body shop because obviously I've tried a lot of products I've tried most of the products there so the tea tree range drops of light range drops of youth range vitamin e range they've got loads of different ranges that I could kind of do an overall review of each product and kind of like narrow it down as to what each product is for so that's what this video is going to be so thank you to you for requesting this video and they also said can I have a review on your products too I haven't really heard anything about them basically I haven't made a video about my products for a while because I am actually or I was trying to come out with a new product and obviously coronavirus happened and it meant that I couldn't but this is my new product it hasn't come out as this video is live I'm hoping to post this video tomorrow for me which is going to be Sunday Sunday for you but this product is going to be launching I think Monday so tomorrow as you're watching this and this is a cleansing balm my brand is called fresh based it's just a small one but this is a lemon scented cleansing balm and yeah I am going to do an entire video on this product and a few other products on my website on Tuesday so stay tuned for Tuesday because that's going to be Tuesday's video just thought I would let you know and throw that in there but in terms of the vitamin c range let's get into the video for some reason and I didn't say Siri did I did anybody hear me say Siri Siri has just come up on my laptop That is very rude. I've literally got the Body Shop's website up on here and I looked at the products and that's when I realised that I tried every single product apart from one. So I literally have a bag of the products that I've used apart from one that seems to be leaking that I got out of the shower. A couple of these are product empties. I was so proud of myself and so impressed with myself that I hadn't thrown away my empty products of my body shop stuff so I'm very happy about that because that means that I can show you the product and speak about it so I'll just go in order of how it is on their website just to make things a little bit easier so the first product is this this is the vitamin c glow revealing liquid peel these are quite like a famous product at the body shop a lot of people have these a lot of people like these and basically what they do is they do have other ones as well they've got the drops of light one and they've got the drops of youth one as well but this one is my favourite, but then again, the vitamin C range overall is my favourite range. You take a small pump of this onto your skin, you then rub it in and it gets rid of dry skin, dead skin, everything like that. Like literally, you will put it on your skin and it starts to clump up. I did a test when I first got this and I put it in an area where I've got a lot more dry skin, which was on my feet. And I thought, okay, what's it going to do? And it removed so much more dry skin than it did on the back of my hand. The back of my hand is so incredibly soft no real dry skin and when you put it on the back of my hand not much kind of anything really comes off so it does work I do really like these and the vitamin c one in particular it kind of makes your skin feel really fresh after using it and I just like the feeling that it's like glowy almost I don't know how to explain it but I really like this personally and it does last a long while you're not meant to use this every day you can use it like a few a couple of times a week but this particular one is for dull tired and grumpy skin which is what their entire range is for so yeah this is for if you suffer with dry skin or if you just want to use it in general I do really like these are they essential in a skincare routine no if you've got an exfoliator then you definitely don't need these but they're just like added extra things that you can add into your skincare routine that might just make a big difference and this product is £18.50 on their website but remember they do do discounts and things like that quite regularly so just bear that in mind the next product is something I'm currently using at the minute. This is the Vitamin C Glow Protect Lotion with SPF 30. You would have seen in a haul if you've watched my previous Body Shop videos that I bought this just recently in a haul, well I say recently, a couple of months ago, for just an SPF in general. I always wear SPF in the morning, it's part of my skincare routine, I do my full skincare, 
apply my moisturizer and then I apply an SPF afterwards. This is definitely something that I am gonna be repurchasing. I love this product. I like the fact that it doesn't smell like sun cream. Yeah, it's literally nothing to do with sun cream. It's like its own standalone product. It gives such a nice finish to the skin. I like how when I apply this, it just blends straight into my skin. It's really soft, it's really smooth, and it gives like a little glow. And I think that's obviously what this entire range is about. And I really love glowy products. If you know, recently I'm really into skincare, I'm really into glowy products. So this for me is just absolutely perfect. And am I gonna repurchase this? Yes, I am. You know, a little goes a long way. A really little amount of this does go a long way. They've got other SPFs on their website, but I do personally think that this one is going to be more tailored to me and my personal taste because of the kind of skincare -y products that I like. This is £15. Oh, just bearing in mind, some of these products I did get for free when I used to do the body shop at home and some of the products I have bought myself with my own money and all of them probably had a discount on them just to let you know that um, because I like to buy stuff when there's a discount going on. So yeah, this was £15 without any discount and I love that. By the way, at the end, I'm gonna do like a roundup of what's my favorite and least favorite products in this particular range at the end. The next one is the one that was leaking because I had it in the shower. This is the Vitamin C Glow Boosting Microdermabrasion. This looks very similar to the glow polish that they have, but this one is a lot more intense. So this is something that you should use only once a week. It is very strong. It's a really powerful scrub. And when you use this, the particles that actually scrub your face are quite fine. So it really does get in there and it is very, very harsh. If you've got acne, if you've got really bad eczema or anything like that, then this product is not for you because it will aggravate that so much it is a very harsh product i love scrubs so much they make my skin so soft well they make everyone's skin really soft but they just get rid of dead skin dry skin they remove dirt from in your pores and i just love them so much and honestly they make your skin so so nice this is like a scrub but amplified that's why a usual scrub you would use two to three times a week. This you'd use only once a week because it is really, really powerful. And it is a bit more expensive than anything that I would normally want to spend on. It's 18 pounds, but a little goes a long way. I tell you now, a little goes a long way. And you're only gonna be using this once a week. So this will last me like a year. And I really, really love this. And yeah, I'm so glad that I got this because it is very, very good. It's definitely the best scrub that I've used, but it is the most powerful. So it doesn't mean if you've got like sensitive skin, then this is not for you because it will hurt your skin. But for me, this is an amazing scrub for my skin type. Oh yeah, and like I said, that's 18 pounds. Would I repurchase that? I don't think I will be needing to repurchase that for a very long time because of how like big it is and how long it's gonna last. Okay, next product is one that I've run out of. So this is an empty product that I kept. I just must have known I was gonna film this video, I don't know. But this is the Body Shop Vitamin C Skin Reviver Instant Smoother. So this is kind of marketed as a skincare product and it's in their kind of obviously vitamin C skincare range. I would say that this is definitely more of like a makeup-y product in terms of the fact that it's a primer before makeup. Obviously, if you don't wear makeup, you can still use this product and it will just fill in your pores and prevent kind of oily skin, everything like that. But what this is great at and what I found this to be really good at is before I did my makeup, I would literally just put the tiniest little bit on my skin and it would just fill my pores in straight away. And the good thing about that is then when you go and put your foundation on, it's going on a nice smooth layer if your foundation if you don't use this and you don't prime then your foundation is just going to go straight into your pores and you can see that and it will kind of cake up a little bit not look too great so primers are actually very very good especially ones like this if you've got big pores on your face and this is definitely one to go for it's definitely one of the best primers that i've used if not the best and i did really really love this would I repurchase this? Yes, I would. It is really, really good. But I'm just going to kind of, I'm the kind of person that just likes to mix and match, use different things. And then I always end up coming back to like my actual favorite. So I know I'm going to come back to this, but I would recommend this if you want like a blurring skin smoothing primer. If you're the kind of person that likes that, this is amazing. And it's 17 pounds, but remember, go and find a discount code, go and find somebody that does the body shop at home and they will get you a discount at some point. Um, right, next one is also one that I ran out of that gladly I kept anyway. So this is very similar to the one I just showed a minute ago. 
<clears throat> this is the microderm abrasion intense kind of scrub this one is more of like a daily thing or like a three times a week kind of product this is the daily glow cleansing polish this is kind of like a cleanser that you can use every single day it does have that kind of like abrasiveness to it but it's only slight so it's just a little bit i i wouldn't go as far as to say that this is a scrub and i wouldn't say that it's just a cleanser it's definitely got that kind of like little kind of bits in it and i think it's definitely fine for everyday use because you can just rub it into your skin and it will just get rid of like little bits of dirt if you are somebody that wears a lot of makeup like me this might be a good product to go for because you want to make sure that you're getting rid of all your makeup sometimes just a normal cleanser won't really get things out of your pores it will just kind of cleanse what's on there and you want something that's going to do that so that's why scrubs are really good or something like this where your cleanser actually has a few little bits in it it. but yeah that's why i really liked this product and would i rebuy this i'm not sure because personally i'm the kind of person that uses cleansers and scrubs so this is kind of like a mixture of the two and i don't really need a product like that when i do use both anyway i don't use scrubs every day but you know what i mean like i'm kind of covered so i don't think i would repurchase this but i did really like it and it's definitely a product for somebody that might be a little bit more on the lazy side and they kind of want like a two-in-one kind of product where it just slightly exfoliates as well as washes so yeah i do really like this and every product in the vitamin c range makes your skin really nice smooth soft and glowy I really like how glowy my skin is after I've used any of these products. It definitely does what it says on the tin. And this product is £11. So it's actually the cheapest product that I've shown so far. So if you are looking for something that's a little bit cheaper in this range, maybe this is something to go for and try first. Especially if you do have a discount code that somebody has given you. Okay, another thing that I can't actually show you, but I will try and overlay a clip of like what it says on the website. And it's the Vitamin C Glow Sheet Mask. So basically... I can't show you that because I've used it and I've thrown it out. I would be a bit really silly to kind of keep things like that. But I love this sheet mask. They have quite a few different sheet masks in different ranges. I will talk about those in future videos. But this particular one really does make your skin glowy. I don't know how I feel about sheet masks. Like, do they really do what they say? I know that I've got face masks in my bathroom that 100% work and they clear my skin and they make my, like even my own face mask on my website clears my skin and I love it so much. When it comes to sheet masks, I just don't know because you can't really see much of a difference um, kind of straight away or after a few days. It's kind of like, a, hopefully it made my skin more hydrated, but I do think that it does make my skin a lot more glowier, a lot more hydrated and yeah, I do like it. And it is four pounds and their sheet masks are four pounds and I think that's quite expensive for something that you throw away after one use pretty much. Like maybe you could reuse it, but most people don't. So yeah, that is quite expensive considering on my on my website my face mask is like £6.99 and you can use that like 20, 30 times or even more than that, I don't exactly know. You can use it a lot of times. Sorry, my camera cut off. So yeah, just saying that a one use product, four pounds to me is quite expensive, but then a lot of places do, and a lot of brands do sell things and that kind of price range when it comes to sheet masks. Next up, we have another goodie. It is here. So this is the Vitamin C Energizing Face Mist. Now, this is something that I picked up because I'd like ran out of my makeup setting spray. I actually don't use this as a makeup setting spray because I felt like when I was using it, it was almost wasted on my skin. So I just use a different setting spray. This is so good on just clear, bare skin. So I use this every day as part of my morning skincare routine. This is the last product that I use. I just spray it over my skin and it literally makes your skin so, so, so glowy. If you want glowy skin, get this product because it's what you spray spray on your skin last at the end of your skincare routine and it makes your skin super nice and glowy so I would highly recommend if you don't wear makeup then this is definitely a great product it will leave your skin glowy all day if you do wear makeup like me it just makes makeup application onto your skin really really nice after you've done your skincare routine you then apply makeup and then it's really nice to just do your makeup on top of the base that you've just created that's nice and glowy and soft. Using this product does make your skin, once you've applied makeup, a lot dewier than if you didn't use this product. So yeah, this is a good one and this is £12. So again, it's one of the cheaper products in the range, but it, then again, it is only a spray and yeah, it does last quite a long time. You don't need much, a little goes a long way. It does make your skin really, really glowy. 
very quickly. So yeah, really, really like that one. Would I repurchase this? Yes, 100%. Sorry, some dust was flying in the air. Two more products. One of them is one that I've used and the other one is the one that I haven't, which I'll speak about last. So the next one is this. This is a product empty. So I ran out of this for a very long time ago. I literally thought I had thrown this out and I just don't have a clue why I didn't. This is the Vitamin C Glow Boosting Moisturiser. This is on par with my favourite moisturiser. I've got one from the Vitamin E range, which I really love. It's a gel moisture um, cream. I will do a video on that as well. Um, but yeah, I really, really am obsessed with that one. Um, but I also really loved this. So it's kind of like a tie between the two uh, because both of them give really glowy skin. And I love products that just give glow to your skin. Obviously, as you can tell, it's completely run out. It is more of a gel consistency than a moisturising consistency. So you've got the kind of moisturisers that are almost like lotions or a bit thicker, a bit creamier, and like they take a little bit of blending in. Whereas this is more of a gel. I've, I've come to realize I like gel moisturizers, but yeah, it's more of a gel. It's got that glow to it. So it does make your skin really, really, really hydrated and glowy. And that is what I'm here for. This moisturizer is definitely one of the best I've ever used. Would I recommend this to people? Of course, I love it. I really, really love this product. It's £16 and you get it for 50 mil. And yeah, it does go quickly, but I think it goes quickly for me because I use it morning and night and I just love like my whole skincare routine. I just love this and I'm actually gonna repurchase this 100%. I have my vitamin E gel moisture cream through in the bathroom and that was a repurchase. So I'm gonna have a break from that one next and get this one next, but that will be in quite a while. I'll probably do a body shop haul at some point. I do loads of body shop videos. I am gonna do a video um, of a full skincare routine using only body shop products. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, would I recommend this? One million billion percent. Would I rebuy this? One trillion percent and i am gonna you watch me right the final product is the vitamin c skin boost so i don't know what the heck this is i actually just uh, i literally thought when i saw it that it was this product because it looks just like this product but apparently not so i'm just gonna have a look at this now it says it's a skin boost instant smoother so it does look like what i've just shown which is kind of confusing me a lot maybe it's an old product no, it can't be. It's 17 pounds anyway. And it says, this is what it says about it. It says, give your skin a healthy looking glow with our vitamin C infused radiance booster. Use after moisturizing to effectively help combat dull, tired complexions. It instantly smooths the skin. It can be used alone or with a moisturizer. It enhances your natural radiance and refreshes and smooths your skin. So it's basically just like an addition to your moisturizer just to give that extra level of glow and hydration and smoothness. So, you know, I would use it. Let's see some reviews. Overall, it's a 4.5 out of 5 star rating. It feels amazing, great for makeup. I would purchase again. It's a great product, soft and smooth. Now let's have a look at the negative ones because that's what I like to do. Somebody said, I got breakouts after I used this product for three days. The only good thing was that I felt my skin very soft. So if you get breakouts after a product, that doesn't mean that that's going to give everybody breakouts. It's just personal to you. You might be allergic to something or it might just be by chance that that happened. Maybe your period was due and you got spots and you just didn't kind of of link that up I don't know that doesn't mean that that's what it is for everybody and um, but they did say it made their skin really soft so at the end of the day that was almost like a positive comment I would take that somebody put the item arrived empty well that is definitely not good we definitely do not want that someone put it's overpriced for a primer I'm personally thinking that maybe it's this do you think it's this even though they've got this on the website and that but it sounds like it's this. It's confusing me. Somebody please explain. Yeah, someone just said it's overpriced. They said they didn't really see a difference, but they thought it was because of their oily skin. I've got oily skin, and I think you kind of have to combat the oils first and then apply the product. Um, I don't know, but anyway. So that's that product. Will I be buying that? I don't know. I don't think I will, because I personally think it is either this product here and there's something going on that I don't know about, or it isn't this product, and it's something very similar to this product, so I would just buy this one. Um, I don't know what it is. Um, somebody please explain. But yeah, so that is it. That is overall everything in the vitamin C range. If you see anything else um, that's in that range, it's just not what they've shown on their website. So I'm just showing things that's from this range that's on their website. So 
that's just it basically and that's just what I wanted to do so now just to kind of round up this video overall are uh, my favorite things from the range oh that's a very good question well i think we're gonna have to go with the moisturizer that's definitely one of my absolute favorites i also really really love the vitamin c glow protect spf lotion and i do love everything in this range don't get me wrong but it's just kind of picking out the best of the best so I would say these two are the best of the best. And then the probably like my not so, you know, needed products would probably be the um, daily cleansing polish just for me personally. And I also feel like I don't necessarily need the liquid peel because I do exfoliate quite a lot anyway, but it is good. It does work and I do enjoy using it. And I probably would rebuy it anyway in the future, um, but they're probably like my least favorite things in the range from my personal skin type. So yeah, that is everything for this video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you've got any other videos to request, then request them down below in the comments and I will try and do them the best that I can or if I can. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. Please subscribe. I do lots of body shop content on this channel as well as other things. And I will see you in my next video. Oh, and thank you for Toby for requesting this video. If you've got any more ideas, just let me know. And on Tuesday, I am gonna be reviewing my newest product and showing the other things in my uh, website as well. So stay tuned for that. Have a good day and goodbye.